Pastor Steven Anderson is a Christian preacher who gets really, really mad about vegans. I saw this video of one of his sermons and I just had to respond to the BS. There is no such thing as a lifelong vegan. It doesn't exist. Because a baby starts out drinking milk and if you give a baby, a vegan diet, it will die. Being vegan doesn't mean you can't drink your own mother's breast milk, you absolute melon. Veganism is a stance against using, abusing, and killing animals for things that we don't need. Meat and dairy and eggs and leather, these are all things that we don't need to be healthy and happy. It doesn't mean that a human mother can't give her human child her own breast milk. There was a woman who was charged with a crime because she was this die-hard vegan and after just a few weeks, she wanted to get the baby on a vegan diet and the, and the baby died because she wasn't giving it milk. She was giving it plant-based products and it, and it wasn't what it needed. Parents neglecting children isn't a vegan thing. It's a shitty parent thing. These people shouldn't be allowed to have children, full stop. You can pretty much put in anything into our bodies and it turns it into f uh, fuel. Yeah. Did he really just say that? And then the crowd is like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How terrifying is it that someone like him can stand up on a podium with an authority to all of these people. They're all just nodding away and listening to him as if he knows what he's talking about when he's saying absolute nonsense like that. The Mongolians, they don't eat fruits and vegetables, or at least in, in, in history they didn't. By and large today, they still eat the way that their ancestors ate. And I'm not saying that they just do a little bit of fruits and vegetables. I'm saying they don't do any. People like the Mongolians are just completely meat and dairy based. Right, yeah, the Mongolians who in 2019 had an average lifespan of, let me check, 69.95, which makes them 116th out of 173 countries. In 2008, researchers did a study on the dietary habits of Mongolian people and the influence they had on lifestyle-related issues in early aging. They found significantly high oxidative stress markers, which are linked with a higher risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, neurodegenerative diseases, and cancer. They also found high levels of obesity. And their study concluded that the Mongolians' dietary habits associate with their lifestyle-related diseases diseases and early aging and the improvement of those habits is an effective strategy for health promotion of the inhabitants. So the Mongolian diet probably isn't something you should aspire to. Then on the other end of the spectrum, you have people that are vegan. It's just totally plant-based and yet both people can exist and function on some level. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's really interesting how some people like the Mongolians have to eat a very unhealthy diet, which leads to a lower life expectancy, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, etc., and how others can eat a balanced plant-based diet and have none of those problems. Very interesting. You can go vegan and your body can handle it for a while, but honestly, long term, I believe that it's going to have bad effects. And, and you say, well, no, the science says it's good for you. Yeah, but you could find a bunch of people that'll tell you that it's horrible for you and that your kids' teeth are gonna fall out after the third pregnancy. And, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. He's just making stuff up now. Your, 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 t your kids' teeth will um, they'll, they'll fall out. Your, your fingernails, they'll, they'll turn into claws. You'll grow thick hair all over your body. On a full moon, you'll, you'll feel like you need to run outside and start howling. W w werewolf, veganism will turn you into a werewolf, guys. There are people out there that are apologists of the vegan lifestyle. They'll basically say, well, you can get all the same nutrition from a plant-based diet. Apologists? You mean people who aren't complete fuckwits like you? There are people out there with a little more qualification than, you know, being Christian, who vouch that you can get all of your nutrition from plant-based sources. Doctors, nutritionists, and other medical professionals with far more knowledge than this Christian preacher clown. First of all, what I've noticed is that in order to try to get all the same nutrition from a plant-based diet, eating becomes like a full-time job, like trying to just figure out what to eat and then trying to cram all that roughage down your gullet. This one guy challenged me when I was preaching about this one time. Hey, that's not true. You could easily get that much uh, protein. You just need to eat, you know, four cups of beans and five peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm like, whoa, who wants to sit down and eat five cups of beans and four peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> this guy is such a manipulative little shit. That person who confronted him was most likely just using the example of peanut butter jelly sandwiches and beans to show that you can get enough protein from things that you would have around the house. He definitely wasn't suggesting that you eat that for every meal every day. All plants have protein, guys. All plants have protein. If you're not bodybuilding or you're not some kind of elite athlete, 
You don't even need to focus on protein anyway. Stop obsessing over it for fuck's sake. Here's a list of plant-based foods that have a lot of protein. Eat them if you're obsessing over protein for whatever reason, but understand that as long as you're hitting your calorie intake and those calories are being made up of healthy plant-based calories, you'll be hitting your protein. The only plant-based way to really get protein in any substantial quantity is beans. In order to get protein in substantial quantities, you have to get it from meat. And if you don't get it from meat, you have to get it from dairy. And if you don't get it from meat or dairy, well, you're in trouble. And you're gonna have to just eat a lot of beans. Do you know what also comes along with that meat and dairy and eggs, violence and death to defenseless animals? And a whole host of health risks. You don't only have to eat beans like this absolute fuckwit is telling you. Eat foods from that list that I already showed you and remember, you don't need to obsess over protein. It's like a full-time job trying to like do all these calculations and figure out where they're gonna get the amino acids to form some complete proteins. Because beans are an incomplete protein, you have to couple it with rice to complete that protein. Bullshit. This is an old myth that fuckwits like this one continue to repeat over and over again whenever veganism is brought up. Every plant-based protein is a complete protein. The only food you can eat that isn't a complete protein is jello. Next. There are many false religions that teach vegetarianism or veganism. Let me list some of them for you. Hinduism. Many millions, hundreds of millions of Hindus are vegetarian. Buddhism often teaches vegetarianism and veganism even. And they don't just teach nonviolence to human beings. They teach nonviolence to all sentient beings, which includes animals. So they don't want to harm any animal or human, not put them through pain in any way. Oh, finally, seems like we're going to agree on something here because who would argue with such a beautiful way of looking at life, like the Buddhists, the way they see life, not wanting to harm any sentient being. Who would argue with that, right? So yeah, this is great. We're gonna we're gonna agree on this point. But Buddhism is a false, wicked, satanic religion. Oh damn. Maybe we won't agree then. Those false, wicked Buddhists, they're the problem, right? With the non-violence and compassion for all living beings. Oh, pesky Buddhists. This Christian preacher is the truly virtuous one, encouraging you to use, abuse, and kill animals for your pleasures and convenience, when you could just eat plant-based foods and be just as healthy or healthier. Those pesky, evil Buddhists, they're the ones that need to be stopped. I believe that veganism is one of the most healthy possible, I'm sorry, it's one of the most unhealthy possible diets that you could adopt. A bit of a Freudian slip there, Pastor Steven. He knows he's chatting absolute bullshit, and it showed for a minute there when he accidentally told the truth. Eating meat and animal products and a lot of protein coming in increases testosterone in men. It's gonna provide more lean mass in your body. Eating meat and eating dairy, you're gonna have more muscle on the bone. I'm sure sure most guys feel the same way as I do. We don't want to be skinny. Just last year, there was a study showing that vegan men actually had higher testosterone than meat-eating men, so there's that. And anyway, why is this asshole pushing this idea that men need to be big and muscular? Yeah, it's impressive, but it takes a lot of commitment and a lot of time, and not every guy wants to put that in. Not every guy wants to look like that. Not everyone has the same body type. Building muscle is a choice, and you can choose to do it while eating a plant-based diet. Because a lot of times what ends up getting substituted for meat is soy in the form of tofu. Well, here's the thing about soy and tofu. It has these phytoestrogen mimickers. It basically raises your estrogen levels, which is a, a feminine hormone. Men could become feminine by boosting their estrogen levels. Bull shit. Soy doesn't feminize men. Phytoestrogen doesn't work the same as estrogen. You can eat soy and you won't grow boobs or become more feminine. Stop chatting shit. I want to stay manly. Amen. You, know? I, you know? I mean, who here as a man says, I want to reduce muscle mass? <laughs> eat meat and exercise and raise your testosterone levels and you'll be manly. This is what happens when you're subjected to meat industry propaganda your entire life. Steak. That's what a man eats. Made from stuff guys need. Eat like a man, man. Eat like a man and be full like a man. Serious man food. You look like more of a man with a quarter pounder in your hand. Along with a big dollop, a big spoonful of that male insecurity. All of that together leads you to saying dumb shit like this. You know and I know that when dudes are vegan, they get real skinny. Yeah. And some of them might even have a psychological disorder like anorexia or something, because I've even seen them where they're, you know, wearing revealing clothing and they think they look real good and everything. You're like, whoa, you know, you look like 
You just came out of a concentration camp. <laughs> that last comment confirms what I suspected all along. This dude fucking hates vegans. Vegans challenge his way of living and thinking. He doesn't like that. So he spends all this time trying to prove them wrong, to try and make himself feel better, and convince himself that what he's doing is alright. This guy is about the most textbook example of what a meat flake looks like. Not only that, but he's so insecure about his own body that he lashes out on people who are slimmer than him, saying they probably have anorexia or they look like they came out of a concentration camp. Fuck you, Pastor Steven Anderson. If you enjoy my videos, click here to join my Patreon team and help me make more of them. You'll get access to exclusive content and you'll be supporting me to make more videos just like this. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can keep getting access to the free content. Keep calling out the meat flakes, keep calling out the bullshit, and I'll see you all in the next video.